NYPD launching an internal investigation after video emerges showing officers punching a man as they arrest him. CBS 2's Jessica Moore is live in the Mont Haven section of the Bronx with the exclusive video for us today. Jessica. Well, Christina Maurice, the video shows officers from the 40th precinct restraining a man while one of their fellow officers repeatedly punches him in the head. And a warning before we roll the story, the video is difficult to watch. Exclusive video shows the violent arrest of a black man by NYPD officers. Chill out, chill out, chill out. It happened at Prospect Avenue and East 149th Street around 9.15 p.m. on Sunday, April 16th. You see the man in the white shirt getting up in the face of an NYPD officer. In a matter of seconds, four officers surround him. Three officers hold his arms down as one repeatedly punches him in the head before throwing him to the ground, at which point the female officer appears Appears to employ the unauthorized tactic of leaning on the man's neck to make the arrest. The NYPD says officers were conducting an investigation when 29 year old Francis Romaine approached them, quote, aggressively and refused multiple orders to back away. When officers tried to arrest him, police say Romaine choked a sergeant. The police officer that started punching this individual in the face. That's very problematic. But former federal prosecutor David Schwartz also says the video doesn't tell the whole story. You can never quite tell from a video how bad the situation is because you're just not in the heat of the moment. These police officers have really, really hard jobs. Too many people are, quite frankly, are confronting the police. The police are losing their respect in this city. That is a very dangerous path. Francis Romaine was arrested on multiple charges, including assault on a police officer and resisting arrest. He has since made bail and is out of jail. Meanwhile, the NYPD's internal investigation continues. We're live in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica, thank you.